Hi everyone, my name's Connor McDonald. Welcome to the KISS series, the Keeping It Simple with SQL, focusing on partitioning. Each of these sessions are quick introductory sessions into the topic of partitioning, but unlike other tutorials, these are focused on developers. In the world of DevOps, developers now have to understand some of the physical design characteristics of partitioning. In this session, we're going to talk about some of the other benefits you get from having partition tables. The first one is called a partition wise join. When we join two tables and both of them are partitioned, we would have some options here. We could join each of the partitions or we could join the tables. Now that might sound like the same thing. If I have two big tables, surely the effort of joining one to the other is the same. To help explain the benefit of a partition wise join, I'll give you one last metaphor in this video series. This is my two children, and like all young boys, their rooms are terribly messy. And when I finish doing the washing, this is what their socks look like that are ready to be put along into the drawers. If I want to fold those socks and match up all the pairs, let's have a look what would happen if I just considered all the socks as one large table. There's all the socks like that. If I choose a particular sock and I need to find its matching pair, which in database terms is a join, I need to compare it to every other sock until I finally find the right sock. However, what if before I did any joins, my socks were in a partition table? I have socks which are black, I have socks which are white, and I have socks which are multiple colors. Now when it comes to finding the matching pair for that particular sock, because the table is partitioned, I know that I only have to focus on the other black socks. I have managed to eliminate from consideration all the other non-black socks. Let's now turn that metaphor into some SQL. This is what a normal join would look like between two partition tables, or in fact any two tables, where I'm not taking into account partition-wise joins. Notice on line one, the hash join appears outside any partition scanning. What this is saying is I'm going to get every single partition from one table and join it to all the data from all the partitions in the other table. This is equivalent to picking a black sock and trying to find it in every other different colored sock. A partition wires join manages to push the hash joining element underneath the partition range statement. What this is now saying is I get the first partition for each table and I just join those two. I then get the next partition for each table and I just join those two. It's a reduction of effort because a particular row in a given partition does not have to be checked in all the other partitions of the other table. This normally means less temporary space usage for hash joins. If you're running it in parallel, it means less messaging between parallel worker threads. It's a much more efficient way of doing joins on two partition tables. However, it only works if the two tables of consideration have an identical partition scheme. They must have the same boundaries, the same number of partitions, the same definition exactly. You can also get partition-wise joins between reference partition tables because by definition they have the same partitioning scheme. Thanks very much for watching. You can get the entire video series on partitioning from the playlist or just head over to asktom.oracle.com slash partitioning for developers. And don't forget to keep it simply SQL. See you all soon.